Skybot Scheduler includes support for authenticating to the Skybot server through your Active Directory server. This feature reduces initial setup time and also ongoing user maintenance by allowing you to use your existing user IDs for access to the Skybot Scheduler. The authentication option is under System Settings. If you select Edit under Authentication Configuration, you'll see that you have three options here for authentication type. The Use Skybot Authentication option is the default upon completion of your installation. This option requires you to create users within the Skybot server. You have two options for using LDAP for authenticating to the Skybot server. If you use the LDAP authentication, you still must create the Skybot scheduler users within the Skybot product. But when those users log in, their password will be validated using the LDAP server. If you select Use LDAP authentication with user authorization, then Skybot scheduler will import those users directly from your AD or LDAP server. No user setup is required within the Skybot Scheduler product. The setup for both of these options is the same. To configure the authentication, you simply enter the name of your host and also the port for communication with the AD server. Also check if SSL is required for communication with the server. Next, you enter the LDAP administrator information from your server. Our example shows the distinguished name format for our administrator. You also must enter the password for the administrator, and the password is encrypted so it will not display. Next, you enter the context for your users in the distinguished name format so that Skybot can find the users. And then finally, the fields for the attributes that will be used by Skybot to validate those users. If we take a look on our LDAP server, we can see here in the Active Directory Administrative Center that I've created three groups, my administrator group for Skybot, an operations group, as well as a user group. And the properties in this group will show me uh, where I would add the members. And these are the members that I've got in my Skybot uh, server. And also, if I need to find the formatting for that distinguished name, I can find that information here as well. So then, once you have that set up, if you go to the roles that are created for Skybot Scheduler, if I take a look at this user role, that this is the mapping to my group that is set up on my AD server. And here I can determine the type of authority that each user will receive. Here you can see that as users log in to the Skybot scheduler using their network ID and password, they'll be authenticated by the AD server and automatically imported into Skybot scheduler. So that's it. It's pretty simple. So please contact us at skybotsoftware.com if you have any additional questions.